Hi, it's Mahima. Uh, today we are continuing to talk about Second Wind. For those of you who have arrived at a place in your life where, where things seem difficult, um, where the past seems um, painful to come to terms with and the future seems um, sad or lacking in energy and direction, um, where you feel feel stuck in a kind of painful place in the race, if you will, where um, it seems hard to move ahead. It seems hard to find a direction that is true to you and true to what you want for your life, um, given the circumstances that you find yourself in. So this this is the whole idea behind Second Wind. It is, um, it is an idea that at any point in our lives, uh, we might find second wind, which for athletes in a race is that point in the race where they, they lo they've lost their will, their energy, they're discouraged, they're tired. And somehow from somewhere, this additional energy comes and they finish a race. Um, this is really the idea that, that we wanna harness in our lives, that um, things happen and we do have phases where we feel beaten down, we feel tired, we feel discouraged, we feel sad and lost. Um, and that at any point there is the capacity within human beings to come back stronger and to finish a race strong. Um, so the, today I want to say one key piece about that, which I found is a really important starting point for anyone who's in a difficult place in their lives, um, whether it is, uh, has been in a difficult place for many, many years, or whether it's something that recently something has happened and you have found it difficult to recover. Um, this first piece is really important. And what that is, is what I would call just a, a kind of um, uninformed optimism. Uh, you know, it's a kind of optimism that's not grounded in in anything in particular, it's not I'm optimistic because this has happened or I'm optimistic because this seems possible, but just a kind of uninformed, open-hearted, open-minded optimism about the future. Um, because, you know, we've come to think of optimism as this kind of um, stupid, dangerous, um, irrelevant thing, while at the same time, it seems no problem at all for someone to uh, be called a cynic or a skeptic, like there in some circles, it's even a badge of honor that you are realistic. Um, but of course, the thing is that the things that cynics think and the things that pessimists think are not any truer than the things that optimists think. The difference is that when you find yourself in a place in life that seems difficult, that's challenging, that you have been stuck for a long time, or that seems like such a big and painful part of your reality, that you can't quite see a way forward, looking in the direction of why change is not possible, why change is difficult, why you're going to be like this forever, why it's going to go downhill, looking in that direction will not help you move forward. It will not help you gather the energy and resources that you need to move forward. Um, and the, the need to move forward has for me a few different dimensions. So one of those, of course, is that it's painful to feel stuck. It's painful to feel stuck in feelings that are difficult or stuck in life circumstances that are difficult. Um, so there is, a, there is a reality for many of us that, oh, something has to change. I have to change. I have to find another way. Um, the other side to that is that the people in our lives that we deeply care about they do need us to find a way out of these feelings of discouragement into feelings of possibility. Um, sometimes it's because they care for us and sometimes it's because they too are stuck. You know, when we're sometimes recovering from a tragedy or a loss or a failure, it's a kind of common failure uh, between a family or a team or a couple. Um, and nobody is quite able to find a way to move forward in a way that that pulls other people forward with them, you know? And so if you have the opportunity to be that person, then be that person. Um, different of us are able to find our own 
resources uh, and um, at different times. And so if you find yourself at a stage where you think change is possible, um, change is interesting, change is unfamiliar, but possible. Um, if that's a possibility for you, then I highly recommend that you go there. Because I've, over the years, worked with people and walked with people through some very, very difficult situations in their lives. Uh, sometimes it's a, a failure or a tragedy or a heartbreak. Sometimes it's a financial loss or failure. Sometimes it's a personal loss. Uh, sometimes it's prison time. Sometimes it's incidents of violence. So I've, I've seen people in this phase where life seems untenable and difficult and, and the problems and realities seem insurmountable. And yet they weren't insurmountable. At some point when a person began to think differently, they began to access their present possibilities and life began to be different for them. And so that's the, that's the direction I encourage you to look at, in the direction of what's possible, uh, what's new, what's fresh. Um, and this is part of a larger series that some of you will be receiving in your email, um, a, a video series on this subject. And if you'd like to receive them, I'll put a link somewhere where you can receive it on email. Um, but in the meantime, if you're in this place where you're trying to make a change or you're trying to find a way to move forward through a difficult um, past experience, um, do get in touch. Let me know what's happening, how you're doing, any aspects you want to hear more about. And I will try to get back to you, whether it is personally or whether it is through a video like this that will get shared more widely. Um, so be in touch and if you can, if you can, give some airtime in your mind for the feelings of possibility. You give plenty of airtime for the, for the feelings and thoughts of discouragement and impossibility. And for some of us, we have done that for a long time. So just for a while, see what happens if you give some airtime and bandwidth in your mind to the feelings of possibility, to the thoughts that say, maybe. Maybe something can be different. And I'll see you next time.